Hello and welcome to this session. In today's session, we are going to learn all about variables and I will go very basic step by step and this will be very easy and very interesting. So we are going to see what are variables. We will then see why and when to use variables. I will also show you how to create and refer variables. So let's get started and let us start with what are variables. So variables are in very simple words key value pairs and you can see we can give any name to the variable and then we can give its value. So it's the key value pairs and these are elements that can store different values. So tomorrow if I want to change this value I can change this value so we can store different values in variables and why exactly do we need variables? Let us take an example. Let us say this URL is being used in multiple files or multiple API requests in Postman. So in all these requests, the same URL is being used. Now, because this is common to all the requests, whenever there is any change in this particular URL, I will have to go in each and every request and make the changes. So this can be a very time consuming, error prone and not a very efficient way. So what I can do is I can create a variable, I can give it a name, say URL, and I can give the value, which is this particular URL. And now I can use this variable that is URL, and I can give this variable in all my API requests. Let me show you an example, I will go to my postman. And this is the collection that we had created earlier. And if you see here, if I go to any of the request, you can see this is the URL and there is some part of the url which is common to all the requests let us say this part until api this part is common to all the requests so if i go to put request you can see again this part is common so what i can do is i can take this part i can go to collection and there are different levels and scopes where we can create variables. I will show you this in a moment. So I'm going to my collection and I will click on these three dots here. And I will say edit. And here in the collection editor, there is a tab called variables. I will go here and here we can create variable and give the value. So let us say I will create a variable by the name URL and I will give the value as this URL. Now we have initial value and current value. So current value is what will be used uh, while I run the request and this will not be shared with the team and initial value is what will be shared with the team. So sometimes when you are working on your local system and you do not want to share the values with your team and with everyone who is uh, linked to this particular collection, you can keep your values in the current value column. And when you click on persist all, suppose I have tested all my values and now I'm uh, I'm okay to share all my values, then I can click on persist all and you can see the initial value column also has got the same value. So I have given this URL, this variable URL and given the value. And now if I go to my request in place of this value, I will refer my variable URL and for that I will have to use double curly braces. So this is how I will do it. I will use double curly braces and within the double curly braces I will give the value of the variable or the name of the variab variable that is URL. Now you can see here it is saying as I am giving the variable name it is saying unresolved variable. So that means it is not able to find this variable and that is because I have not yet saved my collection. So I will go back to my collection and I will hit this save button. And now if I go back to my value and you can see now it is able to resolve this variable. So it is a uh, very handy and intuitive as you start typing the variable value it will show you the suggestion so it is very difficult to make any mistakes so you can see now i will again use this and it is saying that this is available at the collection level and this is the value so if i now run this i will save and run and you can see i'm getting the response that means we are able to use the variable and now i can change all these api requests and i can update the variable so tomorrow if there is any change in this url 
in this common part of the URL, I just have to go here and make the changes here and I can reuse it. So this is why we need variables and we have we use variables or we require variables so that we can reuse the values at multiple locations and whenever a change is required it can be done at a single place so these are this is what variables are and why do we need variables now when do we need variables so whenever there are common values or repeated values in your test in your scripts it is always good to keep all these common and repeated values in variables and keep them at a single location from where you can reuse them and whenever change is required you can you have to change only at a single place and also when you are using multiple environments we can keep all the environment dependent parameters separately in variables so that we can always switch environments so this I will show you uh, here you can see here it says no environment and here is the eye icon so if I go here if I go to this I icon and click, you can see we can create variables at environment level or global levels. And when we learn about environments, I will show you how exactly we can create variables at environment level and then we can use multi environment testing. So suppose you are testing on multiple environments, QA, regression, sandbox, we can just put all the variables which change with the environment in the environment variables and can switch the environment from here. So this I will show you and how to use variables uh, we have already seen a demo and we can use variables at different locations or scopes so I have already shown you if I go here we can create variables at a global level we can create variables at an environment level then we can create variables at a collection level we can also create uh, data variables that is when we are running our collection let us say if I run my collection from here I will say run collection and here we have option to use data from a file and if you are using variables in your request and the same variables are available in the data file the variables will be referred from there and then finally if you are having any local variables like variables in any of your scripts like pre-request scripts or test scripts you can refer variables from there as well so we can create variables at different locations so these are the different scopes or levels we can create variable at global collection environment data local all these scopes and once variables are created we can refer the variables inside our requests like we have already seen like I have used here in the request I can use a variable and refer a variable like this we can uh, refer variables in scripts in the coming session I will show you how to create how to get and set variables from scripts we can refer variables at collection level at environment level as well and when you have variables at uh, multiple levels and sometimes if you have the same variable name at multiple levels then this is the priority that will be followed for example if you have the same variable called username at environment level and also at a collection level in that case when you run your request the variable from the environment level will be referred so this is the priority and this is how we can use variables I hope this was very easy and very interesting in the coming session we will learn more about variables we will see how to get and set variables from scripts and we will see all about variables I will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning